in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask for the one who calls herself the holder of chastisement. If a look of utter anguish crosses the worker's face, count yourself lucky, for you have come to the right place. The worker will lead you through a door behind the desk that you could have sworn wasn't there before. Go through the door and make sure to follow the worker closely, because getting lost in these dark halls would mean the end of you but not of your endless torment. Hours into your journey you will come upon a large steel door, and your guide will make a move to open it. Stop him, for if you do not, he will lock you out and you will be forced to wander the halls for all of time and beyond. Instead, end your guide's life. It does not matter how you do it, but from here on you must continue alone. The door will feel extremely light, even though it is massive in size, speaking of continuing alone, be sure to lock the door behind you. You don't want anything interrupting you in your task. On the other side of the door, you will see a headless woman with a whip, her body covered in lashes, stained dark crimson with blood. She will point to a carved stone guillotine in the corner of the room. Approach it and strap yourself and before the woman grows angry. There's no telling what she may do if you take too long, for no one's ever survived who tarried. The woman will then proceed to strike you with her whip. One lash for every wrongdoing you have ever committed. Many cannot handle the pain and scream. But this is the one thing you must never do. You must keep a look of determination on your face, and make no sound above a whimper, lest the blade come crashing down. If you retain your life and your sanity through your chastisement, you will be allowed to ask one question, how were they punished? Though she does not speak, you will hear a voice echo in your mind. It will tell you of how they were punished the last time the objects were brought together of the penalties and vengeance exacted on them, and the pain they suffered. When the voice stops, you will be released. You have less than a second to get out of the way before the blade descends, severing your head and leaving you in the woman's place as holder. If you make it, you will wake up in your home in a cold sweat, the whip clutched tightly in your hand. The whip is object 215 of 538. It longs for the flesh of those who would reunite them.